Hi, my name is Chris. Uh, I work at Google. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about memoizing const expr uh, programs today. Um, so since C++, modern version C14 at least, um, you can just add this nice const expr qualifier to your Fibonacci function. And then you can you know, run, call this function at compile time or at runtime. And it'll give you a value either way. Um, problem is, uh, and yeah, when you run it at compile time, it just kind of puts that constant in the binary, so uh, you can just use it for free at runtime. Uh, the nice things about this is you get to move some computations from runtime to compile time, um, and you can use functions uh, for doing compile time only stuff. Um, so CNA and uh, you know choosing template parameters. So for example, you could um, make an array whose size is the Fibonacci of some other number. I don't know why you'd want that, but you could totally do it. Um, and then for certain template metaprogramming strategies, um, like boost HANA uh, type C, um, doing that with const expert functions um, lets you use more function style syntax compared to uh, traditional template metaprogramming. Unfortunately, compile time evaluation is not very fast. For example, if you call Fibonacci of 35 with this trivial recursive implementation, it's about 20 times slower uh, to compile than it is to just evaluate that recursion at runtime. Uh, and it gets worse. Uh, if you try and call Fibonacci of 36, it doesn't even compile um, because the compiler decides that you're probably just never going to terminate, so we're just going to shut you off early. You can pass this flag to increase that limit, um, but that's not really a very good solution because, you know, if I add 45 to this, we're just going to get more problems. Um, so, one common solution uh, that I'm sure everyone who did a Fibonacci program in college uh, learned about is memoization. So, can we memoize our const expert function? Uh, unfortunately, the tra traditional usage uh, or way to memoize would be to use like a map or something. Fortunately, we can't use those types at compile time. Um, and then additionally, things like uh, standard map uh, don't generally support uh, higher level type manipulation, uh, such as a uh, boost HANA type C. So we can't put multiple different kinds of types in our map. Um, good news though, we can memoize our const expert functions. The way we do that is by making a variable template, const expert global variable template. Um, and then all this is going to do is going to dispatch to our function and then our function recurses uh, by kind of invoking our variable template uh, instead of directly recursing uh, through the function. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, we get about 50 times better compile time performance uh, for Fibonacci 35 compared to uh, without memoization. Um, and then even those intermediate variable templates um, are actually optimized out of the final binary, so it's not going to increase your binary size. Um, and it actually you know, completely solves that problem of computation limit uh, because it provides a very fixed limit on the number of computations that's going to be run at compile time uh, instead of potentially growing continuously. Uh, unfortunately, there are a couple of downsides. Um, these template arguments are compile time only. Um, so that means that you can't actually use this const expert function at runtime and compile time. Um, and it's going to be a little bit more incre increased complexity because we're not just writing uh, traditional functions anymore. We have to have this indirection in our dispatch. Um, but we use this uh, in a library I wrote um, called Haversack that does a lot of template metaprogramming um, and it allows our production code to actually compile. Uh, and then I have a Godbolt link here um, that shows this actual this code actually working and compiling. Uh, thank you very much.